the Shulak, Shulak. Uh, for there was a tabernacle made, the first, wherein was the candlestick and the table and the shoe bread, which is called the sanctuary. That's right. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all. So is this is this breaking down the 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 the, the makings of the temple that Solomon built? You had the first part, then you had, you know, behind the veil, the holiest of holies, you know? So it's just breaking it down. Now, what is the Lord doing, man? We doing things in the spirit now. The Lord, like I said, building up a sanctuary through his elect, man. And the holiest of holies is up there with the heavenly father. That's how powerful this priesthood is going to be, man. It's not going to be an earthly well, then you're going to find out, man. I'm going to just let the brother read. <clears throat> Verse 4, Hebrews 9 and 4. Which have the golden censer and the ark of the covenant overlaid round about with gold, wherein was the golden pot that had manna and Aaron's rod that budded in the tables of the covenant, and over it the cherubims of glory shadowing the mercy seat of which we cannot speak particularly. Now when these things were thus ordained, the priests went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service of God. But in the second went the high priest alone once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. Which the brother mentioned this earlier, man. So it's just confirming what, what we've been speaking on through the scriptures. Go ahead, I. The Holy Ghost, this signifying that the most into the holiness, holiest of all was not yet made manifest, while as the first tabernacle was yet standing, which was a figure for the time then present in which was offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to the conscience. Right. Because we in the flesh. It wasn't going to make you perfect, man. We still under, under subjection, man, to, to, to wickedness. You know? So it said that, uh, read that verse one more time. It's something I mean. Hebrews 9 and 9, which was a figure for the time. It was a figure. Meaning it wasn't, it wasn't the actual priesthood. It was a figure. And it say a figure for the time then present. Con. Making it past tense, man. So what it was, could, could y'all step could back a little bit? Step back a little bit. I mean, you got it up there, you know. Yeah, you, know, you can see it from back there. I'll close your mouth. Go ahead, brother. I just read, bro. <laughs> this is yeah, they nine and they, nine. They, they, see, they, they, want a, a they just attention. want fucking attention, man. Excuse me? Oh, we, we reading the scriptures. You all right? No, oh, yeah. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, you cool. No, you I cool. had asked you to pray for me one time. And I don't need prayer because I'm filled with the Holy Ghost and the Spirit will make utterance. I remember you. Yeah. You all right, yeah. man. We ain't got no problem me? with you. Yeah, we just talking about something. No, we didn't. Talking no, didn't. Mainly, we didn't. Right there, though. Right. Know, so, I mean, so I don't understand what you, I don't understand your purpose. It's okay. That's why it wouldn't do no good for me to pray. That wouldn't do no good to even pay no attention. Exactly. That's why I was saying, I mean, yeah, go back on what you had. Hebrews 9 and 9, which was a figure for the time then present, in which we offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect. It's saying, I'm going to read that again. Con. That could not make him that did the service perfect. perfect. Which is the high priest going back to what the brother was saying. If the high priest had to make a sacrifice for his wickedness and his sins, y'all gonna tell me y'all don't need Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah because y'all can keep the law perfect? Y'all bugged out. You really bugged out and don't even know it, man. Get, get Romans 12, man. Because it's talking about the offering of gifts. Like I said, man, now we rolling in the spirit, man. And everything is being done spiritually. The gifts or the sacrifices we give or the sacrifice, we, we offer the calves of our lips, as the scripture says, man. We're not, we don't have to go and get lambs to slaughter. 
and for the, you know, all for burnt offerings. Duh. Right. Yeah, he said he didn't like it anyway. He said. Yeah, he don't want that. Yeah. Right? He don't want that. Yeah. Read it out. Start with what you want to start with. 12. It's um, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transferred by the renewing of your mind. That and ye may. You super conform, man, to Babylon. You are super conformed. Man, you, you live in plush, man. Like them brothers told me, those speakers you got in that studio, they they probably about 800 a pop. Man, you you live in, you conform to Babylon, man. Because you took, we ain't got no hardcore concrete proof. But hey, through the spirit. We see it, man. It shows. Go ahead. I got a Okay. And be ye, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, man. This word is the renewing. You renew your mind by the words of your Howard Bosch and Yahweh Shah, man. Renewing your spirit every day. Going back again to what the brother was saying. You you don't just eat one time and say, I'm good for life. You know, yeah, you, you eat two or three times a day. But you had that feast, Doc, you might still. Yeah. <laughs> no, you but. Had that, that, flood, that, that, that flourishing feast. So, that so, might be the only meal you need. You got to get the, you got to get this word, man. As much as you can without the scriptures say, when you find honey, eat as much as is sufficient for you. So don't overeat. You can hurl on the on the spirit, man. Oh, oh yeah. On the, on the words. You can hurl and bug out. Who's the best example of that, man? Talk, uh, but talk. But talk did. Hey, which one is the cocaine? <laughs> you, you can flip it over for it, man. But uh, right. So hey, we we're doing things in the spirit, man. The Edomites. That's the so-called white people. Read, brother. Be you transferred by the renewing by the way, of your mind. By the way, which are, which are the devil that the Bible? When you read about the devil in the scriptures, that's the white people. Go ahead. She offended because you wouldn't pray for. It's okay to pray for somebody, but if they sincere, you know. I ain't saying I'm just throwing that out yeah. there. Go ahead, bro. And not bugged out. Yeah. If they sincere, they might be bugged out, but if they sincere, you know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing wrong with sitting up a, a prayer for a quick prayer for them. They gotta be sincere though, man. That's a proud person coming up, you know. Go ahead, I do what you did. Freedom. That ye may prove what is what is that ye may prove what is that what that is good and acceptable and perfect will of Most High. He got black him. He from the house of Naphtali. That's why he wrote. That's why he stands in front of that title. It's on Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy. A supper unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Yeah, I know, so, I know that, I know that. so there it is, right there, man. Kenneth Cope, we, we, same these thing. are the gifts that we bring Henry today, Stone. man. Those are all Israelites with black blood. Which we, you know. we working toward their perfection. Y'all didn't know Read that again, because it's, 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 it's y'all act like we don't keep the law to the best of our ability. Just say, holy so unto the Lord. Israelite. Read it again. That's why you got that That ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, a unto the yeah. Most High. Which is your reasonable service. Right. Uh, you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable. So you can't be out in Babylon any kind of way. You have to keep these laws to the best of your abilities to be a workful uh, and acceptable sacrifice unto him. So yeah, that's that and that's our reasonable service, man. So that's that's good on that, brother. Continue in that. Uh, oh, you. No, nah, it was just a pre. It was basically when you made the statement on we ain't gotta do the sacrifices and offerings. You know how we did it in the ancient day because the Lord was the was the sa ultimate sacrifice. But I was bringing this. This is a quick precept. Ecclesiasticus chapter thirty-five verse uh, one. He that keepeth the law. He that keepeth the law bringeth offerings enough. 
He that taketh heed to the commandments offereth a peace offering. He that required a good turn offereth fine flour. He that giveth alms sacrifice, sacrificeth praise. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasant to the Most High. And to forsake unrighteousness is a uh, propitiation. Thou shalt not appear empty before before uh, the Most High. Now the bring that's one way you know that we you know give offerings, you know to the Most High is by keeping the commandments and doing what the, the scriptures say and bringing in hey, and paying them tight, you know, and them uh and giving alms, you know. Um, Please give me the second fruit. She Hold said, I mean, just, just let us finish this point. Go ahead, bro. Hebrews 9 and 10, which stood only in meats and drinks and divers washings and, car uh, and carnal uh, ordinances imposed on them into the time of reformation, but Christ being come and high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither uh, by the blood of goats uh, and calves, mm -hmm. but by his blood, but, uh, shall I, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having uh, uh, obtained eternal redemption for us. Hey, I, you gotta go back and read that man and slow down so Jake can save him yeah, with what this is saying, man. I ain't gonna even say it cut there. Uh, Hebrews 9 and 11, but Christ being come in high priest of good things man, to come. Say, yeah. Jump up one, brother. I don't, I don't like Christ, man. I don't say Christ. Because Hebrew, uh, uh, Hebrews 9 and 10, with, which stood only in meats and drinks and divers washings. And right, the old priesthood and the old temple. It stood in meats and drinks. Right. Uh, you know, the offering, right. the drink offering, right. the meat offering, you know, after what it say? And divers washing, uh, washings and carnal ordinances. Carnal ord ordinances, man, of the flesh. Right. Of the flesh. Because it wasn't meant to be permanent. Come, come. The next line state that. It's a shadow come. or, the, or the, the form of what was to come. Right, like in the law and say, if you break this certain law, then wash yourself with water and you'll be unclean until the eve. Yep. Just, you know. Uh, impose on them until the time of reformation. But Yahweh Shai, being come and high priest of good things to come. Yahweh Shai, being come a high priest, man, our Lord and Savior, who the world knows nothing about. He became a high priest for us, man, and went to the true holiest of holies to sit at the right hand of your house. So, so everything is rolling. When you talk about we keep the law 100%, that's, that's corner. That's fleshy. You, you come in that spirit of a Pharisee, what you're doing. That's a Pharisee spirit, man. And they got it backwards. They saying we can keep we don't know the name into the kingdom, but we can keep the law perfect right now. No, it's that's major going. See, they, but they got it backwards. Yeah, we got the name right now, but right now we got the name so that all this that we read and can apply as far as you know our salvation is, is concerned. But then in the kingdom, we're gonna be able to keep the law perfect. They saying we gonna get the name in the kingdom, but now we can keep the law perfect. Y'all got it twisted, man. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna say, uh, in that verse 10, it uh, stayed plainly, like you said, that that was uh, temporary. The, the way they was going about it back then, as far as the sacrifice and offerings, was temporary. And they say, imposed on them until the time of reformation. Then it going to Yahushai. Verse 11, but Yahushai being come and high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither of the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in 
once into the holy temple, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Having obtained eternal redemption for us being, well, Lord willing, we of the elect of Israel. And that's who it's about. The elect going to build up Israel through, through their seed, you know, replenish the nation. So you can understand. So, uh, go ahead. Verse 13. For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of their of an heifer uh, sprinkling the unclean sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Yahweh who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to Yahweh purge the conscience from dead from dead works to serve the living power. He was an acceptable sacrifice unto the Most High Yahweh because he came in the flesh and lived, he kept the law perfect. From birth to the Most High took him out of here. So that was an acceptable sacrifice to bring redemption unto Israel, making us or uh, uh, giving us the adoption back to the Father. You know, making us uh, sons to the Most High Power and brethren to, to Yahweh Shai if we endure to the end. And if we written in that book of life. Go ahead, I. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament that by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that we that were under the First Testament that which are called, they which are called, might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament. Right, now, I brought this scripture out to the brothers, man. The Lord died to redeem them or the transgression of those who was under the first covenant. So that's a cut saying everybody can be saved. Come. Read, read it one more time. I, for this, these scriptures are powerful, man, sir. but you got to read it in the spirit. Then the, the spirit ain't dealing with the world, man. Also, I got to give you that. Yeah. Yep. The Lord said that, you know, he prayed for them. He prayed not for the world. Them is the elect. Like I said, man, Nate, you and your congregation come in that Pharisee spirit. You, you putting that Pharisee spirit on them, man. We come in the spirit of the apostles, man. The wicked Pharisee. That followed you how it shot. Yeah, the wicked Pharisee, yeah, that's right. You gotta clarify. Hebrews 9 and 15. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. That by means of death, who he died for, him going up on the cross, man. And that New Testament, the brothers went into it in the eighth chapter. That's that's the laws being written on the, the fleshly tables of our heart. So that we just going we just gonna instinctively know righteousness, man. Yep, right. We're gonna instinctively have uh right. uh discernment. Yep. Righteous discernment. Our women gonna have the right mind. And then, yeah. and then, you know, not to get simple, I mean, because it's all going to start with the elect in the kingdom, but yeah, we're going to, like our kids, we're going to teach them, but it's going to be like the brother said instinctively, you know? Yeah. If we're going to go through the same process, but it's going to be perfect, man. Yeah. It's going to be like the most I going to put up that wall through our, the way he programmed us that we can't go up. It's going to be impossible for us to do any wicked. Because we're going to be in a righteous kingdom with a righteous ruler over us, man. How can you establish a righteous law and rule when you under a wicked, uh, you have subjection to wickedness in this kingdom, man? When you got the, the devil in rulership, how can you keep the law perfectly, man, when he's set on making you go off, man? And then the law, of the uh, one of the curses is you gonna go to your uh, enemy for want and thirst and the nakedness for all one of all things. So you ain't keeping the law perfect. You got to go see the damn devil to get whatever the fuck you need to even try to rehearse the righteous acts. That means that by means of death 
for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. The redemption of the transgressions that were under the first covenant, man. Israel was under that covenant, man. Uh, Psalm 785 tell you that the most high. Can you grab that right there? He established his word with Jacob, uh, something to that effect. Yeah, so that, that first covenant was with Israel. So the transgressions that were redeemed were the transgressions of the Israelites. And a third of the Israelites, two thirds gonna be baptized in that, in that literal, that nuclear fire. That's what's gonna purify two thirds. Yeah, they gonna be, yeah, that baptism mean emerge. Most high gonna emerge you in the fire, man, that lake of fire. Go ahead, out there, man. The Psalm 785. That ain't what you want. For he established a testimony in Jacob. And Beautiful. I, and he established a testimony hmm. in Jacob. Go ahead. And appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that, <laughs> that they should make them known to their children. Established the law in Israel that Israel transgressed. That Jehovah Shah went on the cross to redeem our transgression. So come off that madness that everybody can be saved. Everybody ain't going to be saved. Not even everybody in Israel. So stop that madness, man. Go ahead, I. That by means of death, the red a little bit more. For the re uh, redemption. You take a break, I. No, I'm good. All right. Uh, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testimony that they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. They which are called. That, that's saying that it's going to be some that are called and some that are not called. Backing up the brother's statement in the scriptures over and over.